Hey guys, Dr. Five here with episode number five of our Leo career mode on FIFA 19. Once again, we're going to kick off with the thank yous. First of all, thank you for 22 views in 24 hours on episode number four. Thank you for that. And the whole Leo career so far has 178 views in four episodes. So thank you for that as well. Have another two subscribers overnight. Thank you for that. Let's get into this one. We've got a game in the Copa de la Ligue which is the Cup of France. It's like the France FA Cup or maybe the Carabao Cup. I don't know how many cup competitions there are in France. This is the first time I've ever done a career mode in France. But you can see here we've gone 1-0 up already in this game and we're into the 17th minute and we're still attacking. Arujo cuts inside of the box with a nice little roulette. Plays it back off to Xhaka. As you can tell by some of the names being uh, tossed around here, we're not playing a normal starting 11. We're playing a very rotated starting 11. We've won ourselves a corner, whipped in. Benzia on the volley. Really nice goal there. 20 minutes in, we double our lead. Benzia, probably the best of the rest in terms of our in terms of our whole squad. Benzia is a player who a couple of years ago on FIFA 13 or 12, he was an incredible talent. I think he was at Lyon, and he had a very very high potential. And he was he was actually French on that one. I think he's Algerian on today's FIFA. But it's a I mean it's quite sad to see his career has not really gone to where FIFA predicted, but he's still young. I think he's twenty four or twenty five, so he's still got many, many years ahead of him. Hopefully he can turn it around. He's with Leo right now, who are second in real life, I think. So he's at a good team and let's get this one up. We're two 0 up. He's just Arujo's just been taken out in the box. That's actually gonna be a red card. I'm going to show you a replay here. Rafa Navarro sent off in the 40th minute. Taken out. Nowhere near the ball. Obviously the last man. Obviously there's a double jeopardy rule. But I don't think that's in place in FIFA. Loic Remy steps up. The veteran. Tucks home the penalty. 40 minutes in. We're 3-0 up. And we are cruising. That's pretty much us securing the victory in this one. We're not going to concede four goals to a League 2 side. But here, Mendes. Actually, the throw in there was taken by Benzia. And just look who receives the ball here. Benzia. He's tracking forward. One on one with the keeper. Into the space that was left open by Navarro. Who obviously got sent off. And 44 minutes in. We go 4 0 up. Benzia getting the goal. He started the whole play with a throw in. And he finished it off with a lovely little finish. 2D. Gets his shot blocked by Xhaka. Magnan makes a save for his second shot. Obviously, resulting in a corner. Molo's going to take that resulting corner. Whips it in. On the head of Otundi, and in the 47th minute, obviously there's three minutes added on, so it's within the injury times, they make it 4-1. So no clean sheet for us today, unfortunately. And in the 70th minute, you can see here, this game just, since that red card, obviously playing against 10 men can usually slow down the game quite a lot, and it did so in this one. They scored a goal, they made it 4-2 through Molo in the 71st minute. That was the last piece of and only piece of action in the second half. Benzie got the man of the match. Two goals, 9.6 rating, 100% pass accuracy from 15 passes. Five shots, four on target. Two of those shots on target were a goal. So well done to Benzia. And we move on to the biggest, most difficult game of the season. We're in Paris. We're taking on PSG at the Parc des Princes. Match day 12. Look at this. Paris... Est Magnique. Don't know what that means. Not got a clue. I'm not a French speaker, unfortunately. But we're rather pucked their prints. Look at the squads lining up. Here, this is a much more recognisable team. You can see no Neymar in the starting 11. They've gone for a 4 triple 2 formation. Danny Alves at CDM, which is a bit strange. Obviously, their left back I've never heard of. As for us, we're going for the full strength starting 4 2 3 1. Myers back in. Fonte is the only one that would normally be in there. Obviously, he's injured. He's out for the rest of the season. So, Gabriel is in his position. We're approaching the January transfer window where I'd like to sign a replacement centre-back for Fonte. But two minutes in, the first chance of the game. Pepe down this right-hand side. Look how much space Icona's in. And he decided to dink it in to Rafael Liao. From that resulting throw-in, though, Lala receives the ball. Plays it down to Mendes, to Maya. First shot of the game, deflects off Munier. And Ariola can easily collect that one. And you actually saw there, four minutes in, Verratti's picked up a knock. So that's not good for PSG. Gabriel plays it back to Magnan. Mugs off Cavani there. Plays it back to Gabriel. We're going to work our way upfield like we like, like we normally do. Mendes receives the ball. 
He's got runners ahead of him. Finds Ikone. He is behind Marquinhos. He's got the pace. Could have maybe gone into the box to shoot that one. But in the end, it was an easy save for Ariola to keep it at 0-0. 14 minutes in. Mbappe looks to play the cross of the box. Paradez, their new signing, their new Argentinian centre mid. Blazes that one over the crossbar. And it's still 0-0. That's the biggest opportunity of the game so far. Ikone receives the ball. He's got three men ahead of him. Lala out wide as well. Chooses to go for Lala. He's got clean air to run into. Plays back to Ikone. In the box. Shoots. Right at Areola. It's still 0-0. A lot of chances early on. 24 minutes in. Verratti's running back towards his own goal. Very silly there. Pepe receives the ball. Trying to get onto a stronger left foot. Can't do so. So he finds Ikone. Ikone finds Pepe again. To Lala. Shoots. And that's our best opportunity of the game so far through Kenny Lala. But a great save from Ariola, keeping it at 0-0. Lala now starting another attack into Ikone. Arujo tried to get into the box. Can't do so. Marquinhos intercepts to find Dani Alves. They miss out on the interception. Ikone dinks it over his head. Finds uh, Leao. And it does fall back to Ikone. He makes it 1-0 on the volley. Bottom right-hand corner. No way Ariola's getting to that one. And the one of the best... Cams, I've used this FIFA actually in career mode and on ultimate team. He's just been really good. He's nowhere near as high rated as many of the other ones I've used, but he's just really, really good. That whole attacking four is really good. Um, but here they go for another chance to try and get the ball back. Mbappe, probably their best player on the pitch right now. If there's no Neymar here, Kerr receives the ball, plays it back to the keeper. Upfield it goes. Mbappe's going to win the header against Sumaro. Out wide to Paredes, the man that missed that. Biggest opportunity of the game so far. Send it over the crossbar. And Bappe's got a lot of space to run into. He's just taking his very, very long time. Kenny Lala slides in. Nowhere near him. Berna. Lala is going to slide in again. Gets the ball, but he gets the man first. If you see here, he takes out the man before he gets to the ball. And it's a penalty for PSG just before the hour mark. Edinson Cavani steps up. Keeper doesn't even move. Keeper's stuck in the mud. Sends it to the keeper's left. All oh, right. And it's 1-1. Game on at the Parc des Princes. They don't want to be embarrassed in their own home stadium. And we don't want to lose and go beneath them in the league. Here, corner. Mendes whipped it in. It's actually going to fall back to Mendes. Seven minutes left, as you can see. Maybe the final opportunity. Pepe nods it onto Leao. Can't get it past Kerr. Shoots himself straight into the path of Areola. And unfortunately for us, that's going to be our final opportunity. But PSG, they're going to have one more. Mendes clears it straight into the path of Mounier. He dinks it in. Selic heads it straight to Rabio. Mbappe to William Jose. Great save from Maignan. They're going to get a resulting corner. And we're into injury time of the game. Paredes whips it in. They can't get ahead on it. Mbappe shoots. Blocked by Sumaro. Out wide. Kimpembe is going to look to maybe put in a cross. Does so. Mounier. Gabriel clears. Mbappe. Rabio. And Magnan catches it. You can see there they were a very dominant side. 12 shots for them, 7 for us. The final whistle is going to go a 1 1 draw and the Parc des Prince. Jonathan Iconi was your man of the match with an 8.5. The goal scorer. He was all over the middle of the park in today's game. Played really, really well. As we move on to the third and final game of the episode, we're taking on Strasbourg. The team we signed Lala from. So he's coming up against his old club. Some old memories. We are at home though, so we're not in Stra Strasbourg. Is that like a place or is that just a random name? Like, obviously, uh, I can't think of one right now. Shit. Fuck. Okay, I couldn't think of a name. Like a football team that's a name, not an actual place. So, you'll have to excuse me there. But 30 minutes in, it obviously is a place then. Maya receives the ball in the middle of the pitch. Stops, tries to get past his man, finds Ikone. He's going to turn, try and play it through to Bamba. Intercepted by their defender, but you can see here, 15 minutes on, we're trying to create these chances. Leao tries to play the ball through to Pepe. Actually wins the ball back off of the defender that intercepted it. That means Pepe was in even more space than he was before. Pepe lays it across to Leao. Cleared away only as far as Ikone. Maya receives it on the edge of the box. Maybe goes for a shot himself. Nope, plays it out to Pepe. Maya again in a lot of space. Kone's out wide. On the left-hand side. It's got one defender to get past. Gets past him easily. It's going to look to whip one across. Finds Maya. Shoots. Blocked. Falls to Bamba. He shoots it. Saved. Leao's there to just toe poke at him. And make it 1-0. I didn't need to phone him this time. Didn't need to. 44th minute here. Lala against his old time. Plays it through to Bamba. Great shot. But an even better save from their keeper who is on fine form today. And you can see here we're into the 52nd minute. Arujo plays through Thomas. 
Thomason plays through Carroll. He plays it over the top to Oiza Barlak Bakilk. He plays it in the box and they score through Mothiba in the 54th minute. That was the final highlight of this game. The rest of the game was very scrappy, very crappy. And the player of the match was left back. So that just proves how bad it was. Hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, please like, subscribe and peace.